Hello everybody, Super Baby Mario here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver Abridged. Last time we took on the Olivine City Gym, made our way to Mahogany Town, stopped Team Rocket's shenanigans there, and this time, now that we have our fully evolved team all raring to go, it's time to try out the Pokeathlon. Now, I've gone over, uh, off-screen I went over everyone's stats, and, uh, based on that, yes? Hello? You're right, it is, yeah. What's your point? Yeah, you got a problem with that? How is a jersey any more looking my best than what I'm currently wearing? This doesn't make any sense. Sure, just walk through the backside of my, my meganium there. That's fine. So, uh, based on my Pokemon's uh, stats, I'm going to be starting with the stamina course. Basically, the Pokeathlon consists of ten different minigames spread across the five different courses. So, a couple of them have unique ones, but for the most part, uh, like, most of them will be repeated throughout at least two of the courses. So, uh, let's just change our clothes in front of Nurse Joy here. Why is my team color red when I'm wearing blue? I don't really get it. Anyways. Uh, I will be bringing in Beavis, Geraldine, and Omelette. I'm kind of disappointed that none of these, uh, none of the opposing Pokémon have nicknames, like they do in, uh, in Pokémon contests in Ruby and Sapphire. And I think the ones in Diamond and Pearl had them? Yeah, they definitely did. It's time to Pokéathlon! So we're gonna be starting with Ring Drop. Uh, basically we want to knock people, knock as many people out of the ring as we can. And, uh... Oh, God! Yeah, we're gonna fall out ourselves. Uh, anytime one of your Pokémon falls out of the ring, or if you, uh... If you hit the... The switch... Button on the top of the... On the top of the bottom screen. Uh, then you will, uh... You'll automatically switch to the next Pokémon in line. Oh good, that was that was terrible. But yeah, obviously the object is to knock opposing Pokemon out of the ring as many times as you can. Uh, all of these minigames will be heavily featuring the touch screen, so uh Ah uh -oh. oh lame! Okay, 68 points isn't too bad. I think. It was better than everyone else, so that's good. Next up, we've got Relay Run. Uh not sure how I'm going to be how I'm going to do in this considering that uh this is based on both speed and stamina, and two of the Pokémon I'm using have absolutely abysmal speed. Like, Beavis has, I think, one star, and Geraldine has two. But yeah, this is basically just Pokémon Dash. You just... 
uh, you just swipe the stylus across the screen a bunch of times to make your Pokemon run. And when your Pokemon gets tired, you just switch to the next one. And also avoid the rocks. And preferably the other Pokemon as well, because bumping into them will make both Pokemon involved quite tired. And the rocks will just slow you down. Oh god. Oh, this is, this is not great. I mean, we're still gonna beat the competition, because I don't think we've even been passed yet. And we're certainly gonna save time from, uh, from not switching out. Okay, that's... that was not... not optimal, but, uh... Yeah, excuse me, Meryl. Do. Okay, 12 and a half laps is pretty good for the amount of speed that we have, which is, like, none. Uh, I think the best I've ever done on that is somewhere in the realm of 15 laps. So, yeah, that's, that's not too bad. And finally, we've got Block Smash. This is based on both stamina and power. And, uh, unfortunately, none of our Pokémon currently have much in the way of power. But, uh, basically what you want to do is just tap the blocks. And, uh, if when your switch out your Pokémon button starts, uh, starts flashing red, then obviously you want to switch out. I don't think we're going to be winning this, uh, this particular event. Oh, we got 70, uh, 70 blocks smashed, which is not as good as the yellow team, but, uh, still... Oh, we, they, they beat us by one! Come on! And, uh, then they just award some- a bunch of arbitrary bonuses that will probably not end up mattering very much. Well, based on the scores in the events and the fact that I was already leading, I think we may have won this one. Team Ethan wins! So yeah, you receive athlete points to be used in the athlete shop, uh, corresponding to the number of, uh, the number of points you got in the event. Then you get 100 points for winning, and I thought you also got a bonus 100 points because it was uh, for, like, the first time you play each course, but apparently I'm on crack. Uh, next, we're going to be not trying the speed course. I misclicked there. Uh, we're going to be doing jump next. Because uh, we've got two Pokémon who are really, really good at jumping, as it turns out, given that they're both flying-type. That, uh, that kind of makes sense, so we're gonna be bringing in Shade, Omelette, and, uh, also... I guess Jerome? Sure. Welcome to the Pokéathlon. It's time to jump, baby! That is all you can do on land. Congratulations. Let's poke Athlon! Event number one, we've got Lamp Jump. 
This, I, uh, I think is only found in the jump course. Basically, you just, uh... Uh, pull down, uh... The rainbow-colored flooring here, and, uh... Try to jump as, as high as you can, and... And, like, run into as many of these lit bulbs as you, uh, as you can. Honestly, this is probably my favorite Pokeathlon event. It's it's a real shame that it only appears in this to, in this course. Also, yeah, if your Pokemon bump into each other, then uh, they will be they will be sad. They will be sad. Come on. Can we make five hundred? Not quite. But we still crushed everybody else. Good job, guys. Next is Disc Catch. It's exactly what it sounds like. You catch discs. Preferably by jumping. Oh, and also, also, you may want to not knock your Pokemon off of the off of the edge. Wow, I'm doing much worse at this than I usually do. Why am I using Jerome? Jerome is not a jumper. At least not not quite as much as the other two. Accidentally nudges shade off the edge. Oh, oh. Okay, 40 points isn't bad. Obviously, you get more points corresponding to, like, the, uh, the section that you're on. There, it's clearly marked on the floor. How did nobody else make it past 20? I thought I did terribly in that. And, uh, finally we've got Hurdle Dash, which is based on, uh... on jumping and also speed. But yeah, you don't actually have to... swipe forward this time. This is, uh, entirely based on jumping over the hurdles. Uh, if you wait until the last possible moment to jump over a hurdle, then, uh, you'll get a, a burst O speed. <laughs> and we win. Surprise! Not bad, not bad. Um, I... Not to spoil anything, but I think we may have won this one as well. Damn, you go, Omelette! Jeez, 433, that's insanity. All these athlete points I'm going to be getting are going to be great for, uh, for getting evolutionary stones. Given that this is the most reliable way to get, uh, renewable ones.
so next up, I'm gonna try my hand at the skill course. So we're gonna bring Geraldine. We're gonna bring Beave Beave. And we're gonna bring... Uh... Huh, who else are we gonna bring? I don't really want to bring Omelette, because, uh, because she's got two, like, really sad-looking stars in skill. But she's also she's also the only one that's been in both uh, both things, and uh, there is some sort of bonus that you get for uh, having one Pokemon win in all five courses. So let's give this a try. What have we got for, uh, round one? It's Snow Throw! I, uh... I'm not all that good at Snow Throw. My usual strategy for this is to, uh, just... Uh, throw as much as I can at the, uh... At the team on the left. Because that, uh, that usually tends to get me a whole bunch of points. And it's also really easy to do. But yeah, all you have to do is uh, swipe up to throw snowballs. You can also tap on your Pokémon a bunch of times to make bigger snowballs, but that doesn't really have much of an effect aside from, like, blocking other people's snowballs. Nine points! Almost 60. I almost, uh, almost got another one, like, right at the end. But, uh, yeah, that was, uh... Jeez, 177 points for that, wow. Uh, next is Goal Roll, a game that I am very bad at. So, my usual, my usual strategy for this is to have Two of my Pokemon act as goalies to uh, block uh, block the ball from going into my goal, as as a goalie does, and uh, then have the the remaining one Pokemon just kind of try and score. There's a gold ball uh, that is worth two points. Oh, c how did I not get that? That's uncalled for. But yeah, uh, normally it's, uh, you get one point for getting a goal, you lose a point if a ball goes into your goal. Uh, gold balls are, uh, are still only, only one point if you have them scored against you, but, uh, but they are worth an extra one point. If you get a goal with them, mm, yeah, lame. Uh, did the slowpoke just scored on himself. Good job. Ah! Oh, I scored on myself. God damn. Got in between the, my two goalies there. No. Well, got four points. I'm usually really bad at, at the ones that involve, like, directly controlling your Pokémon by, 
like, swiping. But that wasn't as bad as it could have been. And here's Pennant Capture! This is my least favorite one. I uh, usually tend to be really bad at this one. Uh, basically what you want to do is... Run around and uh, and look for flags, and then bring them back to your uh, bring them back to the finish line before you get uh, before your Pokemon gets tired. I think your Pokemon can get tired in this one. I may be uh, I, I may be conf <laughs> I may be crazy, or and or confused. Go omelet, grab all the things. Also, yeah, if you, uh, if someone, if something, like, runs into your Pokemon and makes them dizzy, then you, uh, <laughs> uh, you'll drop some of the flags you've collected. So, uh, don't let that happen. Oh, God. That, that was a terrible showing. 22 points is, like, nothing. It's not much worse than the other, uh, the other two contestants, but it's still really not good at all. Apparently we're still not overflowing with Fighting Spirit. How did Geraldine hit things the most? Well, I guess she was the the only member of my team in goal roll that actually did anything, so... That settles it!